This is a song about the wonders of geometry. Too bad math isn't repetitive, so there won't be a chorus you see. But you'll live. So here we go into the depths of geometry, into the lows and the highs, just you and me. We'll start with the basics, like addition of segments and addition of angles. Have been the easiest since I started learning. Plain partials are all around, there are much for yearning. They're all common sense if found. If you like the song, then you'll like geometry. While it's really long in life, it's key. There are two figures in geometry, Edgar Allan Poe and Tupac. We look up to them, Poe's and Pops are bad, and proves the endless devil. Just to prove a single theorem, they're the things that kill. Even if you're not dumb, midpoints and bisectors are everywhere you look, and angles and segments. Find it in your book, complementary, supplementary, and vertical too, are some angles in geometry. They won't be new to you. There's of course Mac Daddy, the biggest partial there ever was. He was a Congress as well. They got a lot of buzz, their same side up and alternate interior angles. Corresponding angles, they play big roles. Triangles, fave number is 180. Equilaterals is 60. That's just the beginning of triangles and geometry. There uh, must be. There's SSS and SAS and AS and HL, and that's all the S's and A's. But wait, there's more. EP Langer is equilateral, and that's a perpendicular bisector, and a median and an altitude, too. There's no more than that. Now there will be nothing new to you. Parallelograms are very interesting. They have a lot going on. There are three parallelograms, and none of them are a yawn. There are squares, rhombuses, and rectangles. Oh my, and they're all special, and that's no lie. Trapezoids, bases are parallel. Isosceles, once have can grow in legs and then base angles. Here's a hint about the median, and it's not the middle of the roads parallel to the bases. It's not much to the code. Then there's ratios, and multiple ratios are proportions as long as they're equal. Any questions? How do you find similar polygons? Do you use scale factor, of course. Back to triangles, some postulates I must endorse, some theorems that can mess up your skull. Geometric mean deals with right angles, which we'll be talking about. There are no laws. Pythagorean theorem is used all the time to find the hypotenuse. This is a random rhyme, but enough of that for now. Let's get down to business to defeat the 45, 45, 90s, 30, 60, 90s. Are this just like the Pythagorean theorem? Just use the set angles to find the sides. Not too many rules. Then there's Sokotoa. It fixes all your problems. So what is the angle of depression and elevation? Here comes the zero-sided shape. Circles have some parts of themselves, like a center, radius, core, diameter, secant, and a tangent delta. Onto the circle, it'll become perpendicular with just a radius. Circles occur everywhere you look. Inscribed angles happen in many circles, if not a distant. Although there are a lot of different angles and a lot of different circles, they're often fills just to fill your head with lots of knowledge before you go to bed. There are also segments that you can measure, like so you can tangents and chords that you'll memorize to the core. Now down to the elementary stuff, like area that we've learned before. Then there's apothem that's brand new, arc length and area of a sector. And back on up to ratios, ratios of areas. Let's get out of geometry and go to algebra because we get to relearn the distance formula and learn the equation of a circle and relearn slope. Sorry if this is dull, but let's look at lines that are perpendicular and parallel and then the midpoint formula. I must tell you about a couple forms like standard and slope, intercept and point slope too. I hope you're pepped about geometry.